Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to make a bootable USB Windows installation flash drive using a program called Win to USB Free. So this is the free version. They have a pay for version as well, which has some additional features. So when you install this and run it, you have some options here. So you could do a Windows to go USB. I'll just show you that real quick. So here you would select your installation source like an ISO file. Pick what version you want to install and then choose a flash drive and then you could pick you know things like your partition scheme not all of these are supported on the free version then your installation mode and that type of thing so that might be something you want to check out if you're into making a windows to go flash drive so here's what we're going to be using so in order to use this you need an installation source such as an image file or if you have a cd-rom in your computer that you could use with a Windows DVD in there, or you could actually download an ISO file right from Microsoft, which you could do the same thing right here. Just pick the version you want. You could even do Windows 8. And then you just need to choose the destination. But I already have an ISO file downloaded, so we're gonna go back to Windows installation USB. So this works in a similar fashion to Rufus if you've ever used that. So it's just an alternative if you want to try this instead. So I'm going to select my source here. So I'm going to do this Windows 11 23H2. Okay, select the destination. I'm going to put it on this SanDisk drive here, 32 gig drive. And if you want to bypass the Windows 11 system requirements, and bypass the Microsoft account requirements. You could do that as well by checking those boxes and just click on proceed. It tells you the device is going to be formatted. So make sure there's nothing on you wanted to keep. Click on yes. So it will start by formatting the drive. Okay, so once the formatting is done, it'll start the installation process of copying the files to your flash drive. So this will take some time. So I'll pause the video and then be back when this is finished. Okay, so the process is complete. It took about a half an hour there. So one thing I forgot to mention uh, before you start, you could pick a different partition scheme if you don't want to use the default here. So this default here, MBR for BIOS and UEFI, it's probably your best bet. That'll work in the most situations. But if you want to use one of these other two, you could do that as well. All right, so once you get this done, you just need to you know, put it in your computer, either press your whatever F2 or F12 key, to boot from a different device or go into the BIOS UEFI and change your boot order. And then you could just load it up and install Windows just like if you were doing it from a uh, DVD. Okay, so now I'll take this flash drive out and put it in a, another computer and see if we could boot to it. Okay, so now you can see we booted up into the Windows installation screen, so it looks like it worked. So you just follow the prompts from there like normal, assuming you've installed Windows before, and then you should be good to go. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download the software, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.